Alright, so our system at this point tells the player that they're in trouble. Now three things need to happen. We need to switch on an alarm, we need to lock the door, and we need to start a 10 second countdown. Now the alarm is very easy. Locking the door is maybe just a tiny little bit more difficult. And then the countdown is really just more of a setup issue than it is anything that's particularly hard to do. So we're just going to pick on playing back our sound, which is extremely easy, though it does require an asset that I created from one of the existing assets here inside of Unreal. So let me go ahead and switch to all assets. And what I want you to do is search for alarm. Now, by default with UDK, you're going to get a gameplay CTF flag alarm cue. And if you play this back, it's just a little four beep alarm to let you know that somebody has taken the enemy flag. Now, all I did was I right clicked on this and created a copy. And then we went into the package. I gave it a custom package name and I called it just alarm cue. And then you can take the copy, right click on it and choose edit using sound cue editor. And it has this looping node. If you like, you can just take loop indefinitely and set this to on. And then as the name suggests, the thing's just going to go on forever. So here we have the alarm cue, which is the same sound. It just never stops beeping. So that's all I've done here. So let's stop that. I'm just going to right click and choose stop sound. Okay, so let's close out the content browser. Now I still have that alarm cue selected. Please keep that in mind. Let's open up Unreal Kismet. I'm going to right click, go to new action, choose sound, and we'll choose play sound. All we're going to do is take the play announcement for our self-destruct sequence initiated, take the output and plug that into play on our play sound. Now on our sound sequence object, we'll come down to the play sound property and I'm just going to click the use selected object and content browser button, which uses the exact guy that we needed to. So that's it. We're technically done at this point. I'm not going to spatialize or give a target to the audio because really I want this to sound like it's coming from everywhere. So let's give this just a real quick test. Actually, let's make sure we're kind of in debug mode. I'm going to just leave our re-trigger delay back to zero for now because that's faster and easier. And let's play from here. And I died because I spawned halfway through. And, you know, I still didn't rebuild the lighting. Isn't that just terrible of me? It's too bad it doesn't matter for the Kismet demo. So let's fast forward to the end of our sequence. Okay, have it your way. And then we get Don't Say We Didn't Warn You. And now we have an alarm. And this alarm will never switch off. So there we go. Now, I have been terrible up to this point. I have I've said repeatedly that I'm going to uh, rebuild my lighting, and then I inevitably find something like a piece, you know, a cup of coffee or a piece of pizza or something, and I totally forget about it. So go ahead and save your level, and then from here, we're going to go on and take a look at how we can lock the door, which is actually a pretty cool system, which we will look at in the next video, where this time, third time's a charm, the lighting will be rebuilt when we get back. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes.